My name is David Hoagland, and my group explores the nanolevel processes that give polymers their unique roles in soft matter systems, which include solutions, gels, tissues, and other materials. These processes reflect how individual polymer molecules move to form and respond to their local environments. Our goals are scientific principles, not new technologies or products. However, we often find inspiration in everyday problems of society. For example, we recently studied how polymers can strengthen concrete and thereby reduce this material's high CO2 footprint. Our biggest current endeavor is electron video microscopy, which has the potential to visualize individual polymer molecules and nanoparticles in liquids and other solvated environments. To facilitate this work, we use unconventional liquids and make unique devices for the electron microscope that fit into the chamber and operate at high vacuum. Then, polymers and particles are directly visualized as these devices push and pull on them. Our group loves collaboration, and over the last decade, most of my students have been co-advised. These students come from backgrounds in chemistry, materials, chemical engineering, and physics. We don't do experiments with results we can predict. Instead, at the end of the day, we hope to be surprised finding something new and totally unexpected. Several of my students will introduce their thesis projects. My name is Anthony Rake. I'm in the later half of my second year at UMass, and I did my undergrad also here at UMass in physics. I found the field of polymer science while doing research in soft matter physics. So in Hoagland Russell Group, we look at the dynamics of nanoparticles at, at liquid interfaces, um, and specifically liquid air interfaces. Um, and by changing the ligands that are attached to the nanoparticles, we're able to tune the inner particle interactions and thereby change the bulk properties of the system. My contribution to this project is building this uh, Langmuir trough, which will be able to measure the surface tension of the interface in real time. And so the purpose of this is what we'll be able to see how the surface tension reduces as nanoparticles adsorb to the interface and also how the rheology looks as the system appro approaches jamming. Um, and my favorite part of working in this group is how interdisciplinary the science is. Our work is highly collaborative and I learn more about physics and chemistry every day. Hello, I am Satyam. I have a material science background. Here at PSC, under the joint supervision of Professor Hoagland and Professor Russell, I study liquid specimens with electron microscope, both transmission and scanning electron microscope. Imaging liquids with an electron microscope is challenging due to high vacuum conditions. However, our group has developed a novel procedure where we can look at open liquid droplets with a scanning electron microscope. With this technique, we get real-time observations of various nanoscale phenomena occurring at air-liquid interface with the single particle resolution. This provides us a unique opportunity to study interfacial assembly of nanoparticles, which is crucial for controlling both functionality and morphology of nanoparticle stabilized interfaces. Hi, I'm Katie and I'm a second year PhD student in the Hoagland and Russell groups. I have a background in chemistry and the main focus of my research is synthesizing and characterizing polymer grafted nanoparticles that we study in nanoparticle assemblies at air liquid interfaces. I utilize both TEM and VPSCM to characterize my particles and their behavior and I work alongside Anthony to obtain information about the 2D assembly and interfacial rheology of our nanoparticle liquid systems. Transmission electron microscopy is a high-resolution imaging technique. It uses electron scattering to image structures and has higher resolution than SEM because of its higher acceleration voltage. I use TEM to image the nanoparticles that I synthesize to give me information about particle size and shape, inner particle distance, and the size distribution among different samples. TEM goes beyond simple particle size measurements, too. A unique system that we study in our group are gel networks. We image the tomography of different layers of the sample and use those images to construct a 3D model of these networks. The TEM and VPSCM are both available in Conti most hours of the day, which helps streamline my research. If you're interested in any of this work or if you'd like to think about and explore options for joining the group, please contact me.